Hi everyone, my name is Pua from Technical Support, Southeast Asia. Today we would like to show you the functionality of the PLC Open Library MC Gear In and MC Gear Out function block. What we have here today is a CPXE link with the CMMT AS and ST through EtherCAT. Now we will look into the codices configuration. As you can see here, we have a CPXE configured as the EtherCAT master. Then we have a CMMT AS configured as the synchronization master and CMMT ST configured as the synchronization slave. Into the program, we have two gear in function block, MC gear in and MC gear in post. Down here, we have the MC gear out function block. To know more about the parameters of the function block, we can select on the desired function block and press F1. It will link us to the online help site with detailed explanation of the function block. We'll start with the MC gear in function. First, we'll execute the MC gear in function with the bit here and let the drive to be in sync. Then we'll execute the MC move velocity with 0.1 meter per second as the velocity set point. Once the master position has reached 1 meter, we execute another MC move velocity with 0.2 meter per second as the velocity set point as seen in the program. We have downloaded the program to the PLC and would like to use visualization to showcase the movement of the drive. We enable the control and power stage for both drives. We can see here both the master and slave are ready. We will now trigger the gear in bit and we can see the status gear in sync is now true. Next, we will trigger the move velocity bit and observe the position and velocity for both the master and slave. We can see both of them are in sync in terms of position and velocity. Once the master position has reached 1 meter, the velocity will be changed to 0.2 meter per second. Once we stop the master movement, the slave will follow as well. We will proceed with the second case of MC gear in. We have done some modifications on the program. The slave will only gear in when the master has reached the position of 1 meter. Now, let us go back to the visualization and trigger the move velocity bit. We can see now that the master is moving, but slave is not. Once the master has reached the positions of 1 meter, we can see that the slave started moving. We will now stop the master and observe the position difference between master and slave. We can see here there's difference between the master and slave positions. This is because the slave will only start accelerating to the target velocity when the master has reached the position of 1 meter. It will take some time for the slave to build up the velocity and hence the difference in position. To avoid this, we we'll have to use the MC gear in post function block. The slave will only start to gear in when the master reaches its start position. The start position is when the master sync position subtract by the master start distance. In this case, it is at 1 meter. The slave will then start to gear in and make sure its position and velocity will be in sync with the master before reaching the sync positions of both of them. We'll go back to the visualization and trigger the gear in post bit. We can see here that both the drive are not in sync yet. We'll trigger the move velocity bit and move the master. Once the master position has reached 1 meter, we can see that the status is now start sync. At this moment, the slave will start moving but the velocity is not in sync with the master. Once both the drive has reached the set point position, we can see that the positions and velocity are now in sync. At the same time, 
the status has also changed to be in sync. Let's try to stop the master now and observe the position difference. We can see that the position difference is always 1 meter, which is exactly the same as the difference in the set point. Lastly, we'll just trigger the gear out bit and they will no longer be in sync. Here is the end of my video and thank you everyone for watching.